All right. So if you guys didn't know, we have this monthly box subscription, which is right there. It's called Snack Crate. What it is is every single month we get snacks from a different country around the world. Usually it comes with like 20 snacks or whatever. So the reason Mid said Belgium is that was his guess. We don't know where what it's going to be until we open it up. I think I know what it is because it, I think they're starting to spoil what country it's from. So I know what it is, but Mrs. Ninja here, she doesn't yet. So. I heard you scratched it out. I scratched it out, yeah. So if you, oh, what's going on here? Oh, what is this, corn? We got corn heads? <laughs> look, look at my chin. Oh, geez. Is it bananas or corns? It might be bananas. We got banana bases. <laughs> Mid, thank you for the 500, man. I appreciate it. Yep, so uh, get your yeah. guys' guesses in. What country do you think it's gonna be? <laughs> Greenland. Okay. Okay. How did we get corn heads? Um, and banana faces. I have this thing called masks on. So anytime anybody donates um, bits, it'll give us a different mask to put on our heads or whatever. Last time I saw one, we got the we were in a kettle. Walk. <laughs> <laughs> so my head was in a walk. We were cooking. That's we were funny. on fire. Um, I don't think it'd be Italy because we got that one not too long ago. That was our very last one. Yeah, that, that was, was the Italy. last one we got was Italy. So it's definitely not going to be Italy. Yeah. My uh, guess is Cuba. Ooh. Since I'm starting a Cuban job. <laughs> She's guessing Cuba. Mm -hmm. Greenland. Canada. Catalan is not a bad one. We haven't had Canada in a while. The Netherlands. All right. Some Kinder surprises. That'd be nice. We didn't get any Kinders in the last Canada, did we? No, not at all. We've gotten them, but not from the Canada box. Yeah, I don't think it's from the Canada box. Yeah, I do. The nasty peaches. It's the mango. Oh, <laughs> Thailand, Nicaragua. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good guess. We've never had one from Nicaragua. That never has even crossed my mind as a guess. So whoever did that, it's awesome. That was the platypus, Pat. Wait, Greenland is the country, right? Yes, yeah. it's a country. <laughs> and it's actually covered in ice. If you hey, didn't know. Get down. All right. Good boy. Yeah, it's not a state. <laughs> Sit. All right. Any more guesses? Sit. Any final guesses? All right, so we had Cuba. Yo, you can only choose one, Anthony, so pick one. We had Canada. Uh, Mid said Belgium. Nicaragua. Netherlands. Well, he keeps saying different I'm ones. What's your I final answer? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's your final answer, Anthony? Japan. Didn't we get Japan up? No. That was a while ago. That's actually. It's been a while ago, but we have had two Japans. So it might not be Japan. <clears throat> but all right. Dun, dun, dun. Ready, set, and. Australia. Yeah, that's exciting. They do spoil it. They do spoil it. Got the Jax one in the chat. Wait, what, what was the greeting? It says, Good day. Renegade Ninja. <laughs> so let's see here. Do you want to sit in my lap? You can't. We're going to do snacks. He's going to say that? I just said no one to say. All right. So let's see here. What snacks they got? You're doing snacks. So they give us a list of everything that comes. Yeah. There's three different packages. So there's the starter package. There's the original package. And then there's this uh, premium package. Oh. And then there's a drink upgrade as well. Puppy if you get <laughs> Puppy wants to stream. Jack sent that box to us. I know, right? Look. Promise. Look. Uh, look over there. Say hi. There's the pup. The clean pup. The bath pup. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Yeah. Um, the crate costs like 30 bucks, okay. but we have the original, the small, like the small one and the drink upgrade. So if you pay for the original, it's like 20 
25 bucks, and then you get the, the the small one too. And we did the drink upgrade, which is like an extra five bucks or something. I don't know. We saw some really cool drinks, and like we wanted to try it, so we upgraded to that. But um, if you guys use our code, you guys get 10% off your first one. Um, what is my code? The snack? There you go. So if you guys use that code, you guys get 10% off your first one. You can cancel whenever you want. You can start whenever you want, stuff like that. But it actually gives you guys 10% off. No. We're streaming. Hush. <laughs> All right. So let's see some fun facts about Australia. The Australian Alps receive more snow than Switzerland each year. The Great Dividing Range runs from north to south from Queensland to Victoria. That's crazy, because I was talking to Jax today, and he said he's never seen snow in his life. And they get snow in Australia. Psh. Did you see these stickers? I haven't seen the stickers yet. There's a didgeridoo. The didgeridoo. And a, bim a boomerang. The boomerangs. So they give you stickers as well for the snack crate, which is really cool. <laughs> Those are awesome. You want this? All right. Australian wombats are one of the only animals in the world whose poop is in the shape of a cube. What? There you go. Fun facts. Wombats <laughs> poop in cubes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's insane. Right before people eat their snacks. Like I know, right? <laughs> hey, give me the thing back. This puppy just stole my thing. Literally. Stole my thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Kangaroos and emus cannot walk backwards. The animals were selected for the National oh. Code of Arms to represent oh, yeah. a forward-thinking culture. I like that. That's cool. Choose an animal that can't walk backwards, so they're forward-thinking. All right, Australia has the world's longest golf course. The 18-hole par 72 golf course spans 850 miles across two states. Wow. How do you even That's play insane. that? Two states, 850 miles? You that's, couldn't play the whole thing in one day. That's that twice the length of Colorado from top to bottom. And we have the third biggest one in the nation. And it takes right. people like, I don't know, say T off at 8 to come in at 130. It's like that five hours. Long. Yeah. Crazy. All right, and the last fun fact. In 2005, the government issued a ban on saying the, world, <laughs> the word mate at Parliament House. The ban lasted 24 hours because, before it was overturned. <laughs> so in the government you cannot say mate and they're like nope never mind we're gonna say it way too much overturned <laughs> that's like bigger than montana east to west right colorado does have some girth but it's only 430 miles wide too yeah, like we're pretty true. much a square state because the 420 mile marker is really close to the kansas border and it gets stolen all the time they actually changed it up to 419.9, so it wouldn't get stolen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see some snacks. What do we got today? We got some Twisties cheese. Twisties cheese, an Aussie snack icon for over 50 years. A corn-based, curl-dusted, and tasty cheese. Don't mind my shitty nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Twisties. The top says... Life's pretty straight without Twisties cheese. <laughs> These are like super puffed. Australian I Cheetos. I think they're gonna be like um, chips, but more cheesy. You're wrong. They're Cheetos. They are Cheetos. They are Cheetos. Only they look cheesier than Cheetos. Let me see this. They're not even twisty. Yeah, they are some of them. I know. Just a Cheeto. Really look at it. Hey, back. They're good. They are good. I would rather have those over regular Cheetos. For sure. By a long shot. I don't even really like regular Cheetos, but I'd eat the shit It's not least. cheddar cheese, though. But it's, uh, it's definitely Cheetos. They're good. Really Dangerously good. twisted. <laughs> yeah, those are good. I like that more than regular Cheetos. My favorite thing ever. Although it says atomic, so I hope it's not spicy. Atomic tomato chips. <laughs> tomato chips. 1950s with tomato flavor. Like it's hard. The perfect zingy crinkle cut crisp. Yeah, they must know that like everybody loves 
tomato chips or something. Because they were in the last box too, weren't they? You had them in several boxes. Yeah, they, were, they, they weren't tomato chips last Why not have normal Cheetos? Because but... they're Australia. They're not normal. Ooh, these are like ruffles. Ooh, ruffled ones? These might be my favorite tomato chips. I love ruffles more than any other type of chip. <laughs> Wow. Mm-hmm. There's like a hint mm -hmm. of spice, that's probably why they're atomic. Oh yeah. These are good. Really good. Samblaze. Oh yeah. Full of flavor. Yeah, and it's a bigger bag too. It seems like there's more chips in there, which is a lot better than most of them. Like the last one we got were like the regular. Yeah. Um, like regular, just normal cut potato chips. And those, I feel like they're never enough in the bag. Ruffles, they give you more of a chip. I like it. Those are so good. There's like yeah. onion and regular salt in them too. And garlic. Yeah. These are one of my favorite things. Ever. Very They're going to be hard to eat right now because they're cold. Yeah, I did put the box Let's in the fridge the to cool everything down in case there was chocolate. And you know it's snowing in Colorado, so it was already cold when we got it too. And there's this looks like it might have the least amount of. Let's do the drink. The Let's do the drink, so oh, we can yeah. actually drink stuff while we're here. Hey, leave it. I know that's yours, but you, it's not anymore. You have a new one. Tiny can again. <laughs> oh. Show it to Corona me. Energy Drink. Blue. It's called V Energy Blue. V Blue said to have been made in an ultra secret facility. Set your taste buds to mysterious when you drink Ugh. it. Ugh. Yo, they didn't even give us a flavor for it. It just says blue. Hopefully we turn into the Hulk, like Stan Lee. That'd be awesome. Pure gamer fuel. I know, right? I wonder how much caffeine is in this. Should say. Mm. Switch, switch on with the Karana and caffeine. Charged V Energy Taste Explosion. Woohoo! 78 milligrams. <laughs> That's what they say. Of caffeine. 78 milligrams. Premise. No. Dog's trying to get in trouble because we're not paying attention to him. And we're having fun. He wants snacks too. He wants his snacks. And I don't think we have any snacks for him. It kind of smells like. Set your taste buds to miss. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's good. It's almost like a Code Blue Mountain Dew, but with like orange or something tropical in it. Pineapple, maybe. Oh, well, yeah. I think it's a little bit of mango in there. That's delicious. No monthly doggo snacks? I know, that'd be awesome. They do have dog boxes, the dog boxes that come with toys and treats and all kinds of stuff, brushes and stuff. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Too bad it's in such a small can. It's like the size of a Red Bull. Does it say what? It definitely feels like mangoes in this. 10 cent refund on collections at deposits. Oh, dude, so 10 points for this can. Or 10 cents for this can. That's legit. Oh my gosh. You'll never guess what's in this freaking box. We need to make a cup of tea. What? Oh no. Yes. Really? We've talked about them do every we have time. To do it? They're here. Tim Tam Slams. We got Tim Tams? We got Tim Tams. I don't see no Tim Tams on this thing. It's on the top. In the middle. Those are different though. Two chocolate cookie biscuits filled with smooth chocolate cream oh. and drenched in even more chocolate. Those are different than before, than no. the original Tim Sam's, I, I think believe. they're just wider, like it's a whole biscuit. No, because it was a straw. Sticks. Yeah, it was a straw. Yeah, but it seems like the same thing, just a different shape. Well, we can try to make like them. double thick Tim Sam's. And do a Tim Tam slam. Yeah, I think we should. No way, we got Vegemite. What? Shapey's Vegemites. Oh yeah, that's what I was about to eat next. I've never had Vegemite. I've always heard about it. You always hear the song from Men at Work. I've never had Vegemite. 
What does this what does it say? Shapey's biscuits coated in bold flavors of Vegemite and cheese or pizza. Oven baked and flavored to perfection. Yeah, this is my first time having something Vegemite. What is it? Of course we got Vegemite, I know, right? They're like crackers. What is, what is Vegemite though? I have no idea. I feel like it's just like garden vegetables. What is Vegemite? Ew. Oh no, now I'm nervous. Who said ew? Why are they gross? That doesn't smell gross. Never mind, it's gross. Is it? What's it taste like? Eh, it's not that bad, actually. It doesn't smell like anything. It's like cilantro. It has a weird, like, initial taste to it. Like, almost if you, like, breathe it, you can kind of, like, smell slash taste it. It's not bad. It's almost like chicken and vegetables. I like it. It's not bad. I think if anything, I the aftertaste want it, is weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. Look at, look at how these are shaped. <laughs> are they like little, supposed to be little animals or something? Oh, they're called shapies. I hate the taste. It's not that great to me. I like it. It has like a savory taste to it. It's not bad. But this is also just on a chip, you know, like a, like a, a, cracker. a cracker. So if it was like actual Vegemite, then maybe I might not like it more. That wasn't too bad. But that was definitely my first time trying anything Vegemite. Mm. Okay, now we're into sweet. So do you want chewy, powdery? Savory taste, I know, but like, it's not like sweet or salty or anything. It's just like a meaty kind of earthy savory taste to it, I guess. Like she said chicken and spices, and that's kind of close. I was thinking something meaty, but savory is the best thing I can kind of say. You have one more savory. What would you use them? Well, let's try this first. It looks like it's green. All green. All right, show, show the fans. The Milo Snack Bar. Crunchy cereal pieces infused with chocolate powder. Formed into a bar, then dipped in milk. The perfect on-the-go breakfast snack. All right. Is there only one of those? Yeah. Should we save it? No, we could try it. I'm not a big fan of milk. So this might not be something I like. Like I've had a lot of cereal bars that are dipped in milk and then it's okay. But I'm not a big fan of milk. Okay. Milo's name your dog. No, yeah. This is what <laughs> it looks like. That actually looks pretty good. I think the camera makes it look like it's more chocolate than it. Is it like Rice Krispies? Yeah with like the smallest amount of chocolate. Yeah, not very chocolatey. I don't think it would buy one. If someone gave it to me, I'd eat it, but I don't think I'd buy it. Yeah, would you give them dinner? it's a good source of fiber. Corbin, no. I'd probably buy these, but not all the time. Not bad. Not like Cocoa Puffs when it comes to like a cereal, ball, cereal bar snack, but not bad. I gotta change my calendar too. John Jones is no longer the hero of the month. <clears throat> okay, so our next- Stop. No, you've been bad. You don't get to hang out. What is it? Hold on. Do we want to do powder, gummy, chocolate? Let's do a chocolate one again since we just had that chocolate. Okay. Yo, that Whiz Fizz is part of premium. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's the first one on premium. So I wonder if we got snaked on something. Oh, yeah. yeah. These two are together on there, but let's do one and then the other. Yo, what's up, Kyle? How you doing? <clears throat> we might have to do one and then later come back and do the other. 
Who is it now? Masvidal? What are you talking about? The fights? I don't know about no Masvidal. We're doing our snack crate from Australia. So we get monthly snacks from different countries each month. This time it's Australia. So we're testing it out. These two are together on there. Yeah. Do the oh yeah. One first. So we got golden, pa golden rough and mint patty. Enjoy the sweet combination of toasted coconut and the decadent chocolate in the golden rough and cool. White mint smothered in rich dark chocolate in the mint patty. Yeah, that didn't make sense at all. That was like a run-on sentence. The other one is the white mint. I know, but it was like a run-on sentence. Right. Are you supposed to like eat them together? Um, yeah, that coconut sounds good. I like coconut. It looks cool. Oh, oh no, Jean Jones, the guy up there, the superhero. This is Jean Jones, <laughs> the Martian Manhunter. <laughs> yeah. Nah, if we're, if we're talking UFC, man, the guy of the month is gonna be uh, Donald Cerrone, he's okay. taking on McGregor. And he's from Colorado. Is it Monaco? Oh yeah. It's good. Really thin. Coconut comes out really, really well. I like it. It's like crisp coconut. This chocolate is good. And yeah, this is delicious. Different than a lot of the chocolates we've tried before. I want to save this for after that mint one. Yeah, I want to save that too. I like the coconut better. It tastes like mountains, you know, but it doesn't have like that really um, flaky chocolate or coconut to it. That's actually really good. It looks different. It's like a giant York. It's circle crunch bar. Kind of, but not crunchy. It doesn't have that Rice Krispie crunches. Of both of them, but Cerrone has his work cut out for him. He does. Oh, I need to show him the back. Yeah, and definitely does deserve deserve it for sure. I think he has a good chance, but we'll see how good Connor comes in. But Cerrone, he's actually from my city. I actually have friends that went to school with him and stuff, so I got to root for Donald. It all looks so good. I mean, I, the Vegemite, not really. <laughs> I liked it. I opened the snack. Sorry, I opened them. Well, you showed them all before. Mint patties. Let's see what this is all about. This is like that a, looks thicker. Yeah, it's like a big is York marshmallow? peppermint patty. Mint. It's gonna be like a big York peppermint patty. Mm. See, I like mint, oh, but it's it like fluffier though. It hurts my teeth a little bit sometimes. Uh -oh. Like I don't eat peppermint. It's super minty, so be careful. I don't eat those uh, Klondike. Was it Klondike bars? No. York peppermint patty. The York peppermint patties, I don't eat those that often. Here. It's like spearmint. Instead of the other kind of mint. It, this makes me think of chewing gum. It, it almost is, does kind of like have that chewing gum taste it. Or toothpaste. Definitely, I don't think I like it. Definitely minty like that for sure. I don't like that thing at all. You don't like it? I'll yeah. eat it. It's like toothpaste. It's chocolate covered toothpaste. <laughs> Ugh. So then we got this. I like it. No. Got it's it. not it's not as like light, I guess. Like um but that's more compact of the mint, like more squished together almost. Not super like fluffy like York's. But I like that one better than a York, honestly. I don't like that at all. <clears throat> I, wish we I like those. Okay, let's try this gummy next. You like to get that flavor out of my mouth. <laughs> these are gonna be hard to chew though. But we sell these here in the U.S. because I've seen mm. them and purchased them before, and they're delicious. Called Allen's Strawberries and Cream. So Allen's is a big company. We've had Australia before, right? Yeah, because we got those snake gummies. Allen's is a really like good gummy, uh, gummy company. Last time we had Australia, we got these really long snake gummies. They were amazing. They were so good. They were really good. Ooh, these so are these ones should be really good. I've had before. I thought I had these before. Strawberries and cream. Look how cute. That is kind of cute. <laughs> you like gummy sharks, dude? Cold, I gummy sharks are the best. You're gonna like these just as much. 
Because it has that, that same cream. white. The cream, the whiteness. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think I like these more. Wait. Maybe not. There's like a weird gelatin taste to it. But that creaminess is definitely like melting in my mouth. Like more than sharps. That's pretty good. Yeah. I don't taste the strawberry too it. much. Don't want you to it when you taste it. Hmm. These are good. Those are good. Gummy sharks are better. Those are good. Those uh, gummy worms from Alan, or the snakes from Alan's were really, really good. Definitely better. We had these last time. I'm not gonna eat one right now. They're hard to rock. What are they? Called Fan Tails. Smooth and velvety caramel coated with milk chocolate, individually wrapped to take you anywhere. And those are the ones that had information about celebrities last time. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah, what movie am I? You're supposed to guess a celebrity based on the facts that are on there. All right, let's see if anybody can guess this. Let me, let me. The candy since you're opening it. Too. I did. Oh, oh, the candy, candy, candy. Yeah. So this is what these are. They're actually really cold right now, so it's gonna be really hard to eat. So I'm not gonna eat this. But they're good. They are good. They're kind they of chewy, good. but they're good. All right. <clears throat> Says, who am I? Born in Kentucky in 1963, he became a teen idol after appearing in 21 Jump Street, 1987. He has collaborated with a director and a close friend, Tim Burton, in several films, beginning with his breakout role with in Edward Scissorhands in 1990. He has also played several iconic characters such as Raul Duke in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, 1998, John Dillinger in Public Enemies, 2009, Alice in Wonderland's Mad Hatter, 2010, Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean film franchise starting in 2006, <laughs> as well as Tonto the 2013's Lone Ranger. That wasn't the easiest guess in the world. If somebody gets this wrong, <laughs> Tell me about it. Yep. Yeah. So you just said Tim Burton? Right. That's what I was thinking too. Jason Statham, <laughs> whatever. No, it's definitely Jeff Tony Bezos. Depp. Yeah, of course it's Jeff Bezos. We got Amazon over here starring in Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> 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 the dude from Home Alone. Macaulay Culkin? Right. <laughs> So Looks. I already guessed it. No, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not who it really I know is. it's Johnny Depp. Yeah, Smallish got it for sure. <laughs> Midquay got it too. George Clooney. So Sorry, not George Clooney. <laughs> okay, options: chocolate or fruit. Chocolate or fruit, guys? What do you think? What should we try next? Do, 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 Fruit. Okay, we just did a gummy, so we're gonna do this. Which is kind of chocolate. A mix of both. Cherry Ripe, all right. Australia's oldest chocolate bar, a mix of cherry and coconut, covered with heavenly dark chocolate. We have this last time. We did. This is gonna be good. Yeah. Cherry, coconut, and chocolate. Sounds awesome. You don't get snacks, puppy. It's poison. Yeah, you can't have the chocolate. Lots of coconut. Yeah, right? Do they have coconut trees in Australia? I think they do. <clears throat> Where's Jack's at? We need to at him. Like, yo, tell us about them coconut mm, trees. You can smell the cherry as soon as you open it. It's definitely dark chocolate. Actually, I don't trust Jack's. He didn't know there was snow. He's never seen snow, and he lives in Australia where they have... What was it again? What'd they say? Oh yeah, received more snow than Switzerland in Australia. Coconut is tasty. The thing's so good. I love it. Oh god. It's so good. It's like cherry cordials. Like those uh, chocolate cherries covered in milk chocolate and stuff. But coconut. So good. Yeah, that's fucking delicious. <laughs> oh, man. That's my favorite thing in the box right now. 
Yeah, that's something I would buy every single day. Never get sick of it. Mm. Probably like the lemon and orange trees in California. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Now we're gonna get crazy. Now we're gonna get we're trying Someone something crazy. Said fruit. So we're doing this one. Was it Zappo? Known for its explosive flavor, Zappo fruit chews will leave you with a sour punch of watermelon that makes your mouth water. Does watermelon sour? I've water coated in sour stuff. Watermelon's not sour. Oh, weird. Oh, I don't know if like you guys know what Bubblelicious is, but that's how you open it. It's like a pack of Bubblelicious gum. Or like a pack of cigarettes. How's that? Zero. And then you get this little thing. Yeah, they're like individually wrapped. This is a tiny thing. This would probably be my favorite. These guys, you like watermelon? Is it gum? No, it's just, just chews. chews. Yeah. Ooh, one. I want one. Oh. I'm not a huge watermelon fan. I do like watermelon, but <laughs> yeah, not my favorite. They're uh -oh. not sour. They're delicious. I like them. Uh oh. Those might be too sticky for my teeth. I'll use my. Really tasty. Very good. It does have a little bit of a sour taste to it, but not a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, it gets more sour over time. <laughs> now it's sour. Okay, caramel or this. And we have Tim Tam Sam. And that's it. Not in this whiz Oh, yeah. It's getting real sour. Oh, and there is two Tim Tims. Yeah. yeah. We have to make some tea, though. Mm -hmm. We have to at least try it. Yep. And try to show them how fast it crumbles before <laughs> we stick it in our mouth. If it works like that. I think it will. Yeah, so these things were like, um, what's that? That like taffy, not laffy taffy, but. The now and laters. Now and laters. That's exactly what this is like as far as like texture and like consistency. It's now and laters. But watermelon, a little bit sour. It's actually really good. I like sour a lot, so perfect for me. Okay. okay. What is it? Chop bar? It's a crispy wafer layered in caramel and coated in rich milk chocolate. It's a monster chew. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just like an hour later. Sticking to my teeth and everything. The word stick. How chewy it is. Well, I'm not chewy at all. Whoa. Not that chewy. texture is cool. It's like fluffy in the middle. Wow. That thing's good. What all the foreign names have cool names for the candy? <laughs> I know, right? The chomps. Oh yeah, that's good. The wafers. I don't know if you guys can see it. You can kind of see like, the layers of the wafers. Those just like disappear. And the caramel's like wrapped around the outside of it, like the chocolate. It's like super fluffy in the middle, like super fluffy. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. America has nerds. I mean, nerd nerds is a pretty cool name. I'll give you that. We've been at nerds a long time. I haven't had them either. I've got nerds downstairs though. Lots of them. We have lots of nerds. If I could give them to you guys, I would. Right. <clears throat> Send me a P.O. box, man, and I'll send you all of your, uh... All the nerds. Yeah, or just send me your, your address. I'll send you all the nerds, man. <laughs> I don't know how much it'll cost to send nerds to Belgium, but we can do it. <laughs> That's pretty good. 
That looks really huge. The slogan on this says, it's the way it shatters that matters. Uh-oh. I think this is going to be like Angel Food Candy, which we always make for Christmas. I bet you it's going to just crumble. Looks, I'm sure it looks like Angel Food Candy. What does it call? All right, Violet Crumble. Part of the starter pack. It's a crumbly honeycomb toffee centered coated yep. in two layers of creamy chocolate. It's Angel Food Candy. Mm. If it's really it's, hard, I'm not going to like it. It's not going to be. It's going to be like a pillow in the middle. No, I'm serious, man. I'll send you nerds. I don't. We're not going to eat the nerds. Yeah, they'll sit here all year and I'll pass them out for Halloween next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll give year old nerds to these kids next year for Halloween. <laughs> this is totally Angel Food Candy. I love it. Oh, I know what that is. My mom. You put it all the time. So imagine like Angel Food Cake, but dried and super hard. The texture is really weird, but it's so good. No. That's all you. I love it. I love it. It's toffee. Not a big fan of toffee. It's not like hard though mm. when your tongue touches it, it like melts almost. But no, it's not not the hardness about it, it's the the flavor. I've never been a big toffee fan. Smallish likes that for sure, though. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Tim Tam Slam. Oh, we'll get the server. Oh, yeah. Whatever this is. Read about it. Let's find out. Um. You think this was an accident that we got this? Because it's well, on the, let me see. the premium. Do we get everything else from the regulars? Uh, yeah, we got yeah. everything. So we got an extra one from the premium pack that we didn't even pay for. Angel fruit cake, sick is ick. Angel it's, food cake. No, not fruit. it's not cake. It's angel food candy. Right, but he said fruit. Oh yeah, no, something it's different. Not fruit. And it is gross. I agree with whoever said that. That was Ty. All right, Whiz Fizz, a fun and unique experiment. These this sweet powder fizzes in your mouth for a tasty surprise. So you just got to drink it or uh, just pour it in. It's like pop, pop rocks meets the dip it. Packets. Yeah, it'd be nice if they had like a little sugar thing to like lick and put it in there. How do you want to do this? Yeah. Pour some in your hand. I'm just gonna pour it right into my mouth <clears throat> from the package. Oh, there's a tiny scoop in here actually. Oh, there's a scoop? That works. Oh my god. It's a tiny shovel. How cute. It's packed full right now though. <laughs> you need a toothpick? This looks like drugs. <laughs> it's so powdery. <laughs> I'm sure if you guys see this little shovel here in a second, you'll think that it's definitely <laughs> something for some coke. Uh, not that we, do, we don't do that. <laughs> A little shovel. Tiny just little just shovel. dip in. <laughs> nah, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see this thing. It's a sherbet flavored. Oh, it even shows you it. They definitely think, now that you're seeing it. Hurry, do it. Look at this little guy. He's all freaking out with the shovel when he's on Coke. Yo, if this is gonna like make me fail a drug test, I'd be upset. That's so weird at first. It doesn't last long, but it's super weird. It's like pixie sticks. Better than but, sticks. But like flour consistency. Or like powdered sugar, maybe. <laughs> I'm so I don't want to do drugs. <laughs> yeah, it's like powdered sugar, but flavored powdered sugar. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> what? Did you just leave it on your tongue or did you swallow it right away? I left it on my tongue. It didn't like pop or anything to me though. It didn't fizz or anything. Leave it right on the tip. Let me try it again. Give me this. Give me a monster scoop over here. <laughs> it's 
weird. It's not like fizzing. It doesn't last long, but it like, almost makes your tongue feel like it's getting hot for a second. <laughs> Don't do coke, kids. Do sugar. <laughs> right. It's so weird. Has omega high. Do whiz fizz, children. Yeah. Do whiz fizz. It's the new drug of the world. The whiz fizz. <laughs> don't, don't do not do coke. Do whiz fizz. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. The we got the Tim Tams. Though. Yep. Tim Tams. So if you want to talk about these and open them, I'll go make a cup of tea. All right. She's going to make some tea. <laughs> um, so we got these things before. And these things are amazing. They're called Tim Tams. All right. And the reason, like, they're amazing... And this is going to be a little bit different, so we're going to try to see if it works or not. Normally, they come in like a round stick, you know, a couple inches. And what you're supposed to do is if you have like hot chocolate or tea works as well, you bite off both ends of the straw, basically, and then you dip it in the hot chocolate or tea and drink it like a straw, but it literally like crumbles as you drink it. It is one of the most amazing things ever. Really, really good with hot chocolate. Um, we're going to see if this works with this one and try it out today. Tim Tam Slams are amazing. If you guys haven't ever heard of it before, definitely go check out some videos. <gasps> but we're going to try to recreate this right now. And Tom's. Yeah, we'll see if this works. It does look like it's made the same way, but it's just a shorter version of it. This should work out really well. But she's going to go make some tea. My mama told you about Tim Tams. Yeah, if you ever see a Tim Tam Slam, that's amazing. You ever have a chance to get it? It's amazing. My wife, when, uh, was it last year? Either last year or two years ago, all she wanted for her birthday, instead of like a cake, she wanted Tim Tam Slams. So we got a bunch of Tim Tams, because we actually sell them here in America. Got some hot chocolate and we did them. Well, everybody at the party did them. They, they had them all before I even got a chance to get one, so. I didn't get a Tim Tam Slam on her birthday, <laughs> but everybody else did. And I've had them before, so I wasn't too worried about it. Like cereal straws? Yeah, but they, they crumble, man. Like it literally like dissolves as you're drinking it. It's one of the most amazing things I've ever like actually had as far as food goes. But it's really, really good. So we're gonna try to, to try it out real quick. Puppy, you were being good, but I have no treats over here. All your treats are in the basement. Maybe, maybe one day we'll do a doggy treat box for you. He's still trying new things too. I gave him celery the other day. He liked it. He actually really liked broccoli. It took him a while to eat it. He started playing with it, but he eventually ate it all. You want to try so bad? You have to. Next time you're in the, the grocery store or whatever, look to see if they have Tim Tams there. And if they do, get some hot chocolate or like your favorite, like a chai tea or something like that and try it out. It's amazing. What was the best, best snack there was? Well, Tim Tam Slams are definitely my favorite, but that cherry, the, what was it called? The cherry bomb thing, cherry coconut chocolate. The cherry ripe. That's what it is. That was the best thing we had. The Zaski and Tree Box. <laughs> Crunch. Oh yeah, he loved he loved the the broccoli. Just played with it for like ten minutes and then finally ate it all. There was a broccoli little heads everywhere, all over the house, <laughs> but he loved it. <clears throat> he liked the celery too, but he didn't eat all of it. He kinda just like shredded it up. <clears throat> That was like his first experience with actual vegetables. I want to get him some uh, cauliflower, see if he likes cauliflower. But I do need to get him some more treats. He needs more uh, like dental chews and stuff like that. So maybe we'll do, we'll try to find like a, a dog treat box or something like that and do a month for him. We can do a doggy snack crate box. Just sit there and watch him as he tries different snacks, see if he likes Grandma's dog likes squash and potatoes. <clears throat> All right. I haven't given him potatoes. The bark box. Yeah, that's what it is. We've seen them before. Or maybe we'll give him a, we'll do like a whole just special dog day <laughs> bark box. 
down to see that. Yeah, that'd be cool, right? This energy drink is really good though, too. Definitely has like a mango type ish flavor to it. <clears throat> Yam is good with them. Careful potatoes. Yeah, I don't give him a whole lot of stuff as far as like the amount of it. He's got to try some things. He's actually been getting spoiled because of the holidays. He's been getting a lot of like the leftovers and things too. Like, I'll eat some ham, and then if he's really good, then we'll give him a piece of the ham at the end of my meal. Or he got some chicken the other day because I had extra chicken. So he's been getting spoiled lately. <laughs> as long as nothing's poisonous. Well, it won't be poisonous from the bark box. She mixes the potatoes and yam. She makes all her dog food. She was spoiled. Oh, okay. Yeah, he eats too much. Hopefully this Tim Tam slam works out. It'd be awesome. I would like to make my own dog food too, but that seems like it'd be expensive trying to get like a bunch of chicken and rice together. And potatoes and yams would be cheap, but you get that protein in there. That might be kind of expensive, especially for my dog. He eats a lot. Not from the wolfy box. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, he, he does like his chicken, though. So I'm not afraid to give him some chicken every now and then. As long as he's good. If he's like all up in my face when I'm trying to eat and stuff, then he doesn't get it. <clears throat> so, let's do this real quick. Get connected to the internet. Good names for a Whismer? Um... I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if I've ever had a name for a Wismer before. Probably might say something along the lines of like a boombox, or I would name it after like a rapper or something like that. Anthony, you're going for a Toga Kiss? Are you resetting? Are you connected to the internet and resetting? Yeah, what do you guys think of the new digs? The green and orange. I kind of wanted to have like some hunting kind of colors and stuff like that. So we want the green and orange today. Oh, you don't have Togekiss yet? Okay. What do you got for me, dude? Some mushrooms? Yo, I kind of like our colors. <clears throat> they didn't have a whole lot for the shoes that I wanted. Unfortunately, like the shoe game is not on point in this game. All right, she's back Ooh, with my Batman cup. Well, if it's really hot, how am I supposed to drink it? <clears throat> through a Tim Tam Slam. That's going to be too hot to drink through a Tim Tam Slam. <clears throat> This is my Batman cup. It turns yellow when it's really, really hot. It's legit. I actually got this in a loot crate a couple years, a couple years ago. Not Batman, some of disappears. Then. Yep, so. Batman and all the clouds disappear too. All right, that's not too bad. It's still kind of hot though. Mm -hmm. Almost too hot. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, so like I said, you gotta bite off the ends. Right here. You gotta bite off the ends. This might work for sure. It's just doubled a bit for the normal team. 
Yeah. All right. The problem is, is this chocolate's really, really melty too. So it just all super, super fast. Yep. All right, let's try this. <laughs> it definitely worked. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yeah. You, they didn't see you even try it because your face was too low. So you might oh, have no. to hold it up for me and I'll do it. The middle melts really, really fast in this, like the top of it. Okay. <laughs> I'll pair myself here. Ready? You gotta drink it through it and then just like disappears. <laughs> uh. Eat it. <laughs> Mine like crumbled mm -hmm. like a real Tim Tam. That was delicious though. Really good. Was this some green tea? No, black tea. Oh, black tea? Okay. Yeah, that's a Tim Tam slam, man. Yeah, look at my Was thumb. Good? Like melty <laughs> chocolate instantly. Yeah. <clears throat> she did it way better. <laughs> I made it look dirty. That's how it's supposed to be. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I did it the right way. She did it and she like hesitated. I was going to try to show them, but then I was like, nope, it's going to fall apart. <laughs> yeah, it literally falls apart, though. You guys have to try a Tim Tam slam. If you ever see them in the store, try a Tim Tam Slam, guys. It is one of the, the best thing ever. No <laughs> breaking eye contact. <laughs> right? Yeah, that was my birthday cake. Well, was it last year? No, nah, it was two years. I was telling them about that, how everybody did it and I didn't get one. Yeah, because you went to bed early. We had three packages of those and people could not stop. No, I didn't go to bed early. I came out and they were all gone at yeah. one point. You went to bed. Nah. Nah. Yeah. You want to try a non-chocolate version? You're not a chocolate fan? They yeah. have different flavors. I think oh. they all have chocolate. Yeah, they're all chocolate, though. When they were being your stores? I didn't go to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I want to change that up since I noticed it. What? Calendar? <clears throat> My calendar. Oh. Who do we have today? Mm, I want another Tim Tam Slam now. I would go to King Super Mutant. Is that Ang? Is that Ang? The last airbender? <laughs> Actually, I don't even know who that is. Does it tell me, everybody? It doesn't even say who that guy is. It's not Shazam, right? No, because Shazam is a different day. Yeah, if you guys know who this is, DC Comics superhero, let me know. I don't know. It's from DC. I don't know who that is, though. Red Tornado? Yeah, that makes sense. I've never even seen that guy before. I'm not a racist. How does that make me a racist? <laughs> All right. Well, that was the end of the snack crate, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, even though you guys didn't didn't get to taste it. I thought it was amazing. Yep. What was your favorite snack out of everything? Well, obviously the Tim Tam Slam. The Tim Tam but Slam. I think my second favorite would be you know, that coconut round thing. The Coke Bowl. Or this. Tomato chips. Tomato chips are really bomb. My favorite was the cherry coconut chocolate thing. Cherry round. No, Cherry ripe. Yeah, the cherry ripe. Yeah, I think we got those last year, but they were little tiny versions. Yeah. Not a big I think it was good. Hey, Mid, it's thanks for the, the 199. You tasted it in your heart. <laughs> and gummies are pretty good, but not my favorite. They're better now, my favorite. I won't. Okay. 
no face stuff. I mean, that was the Tim Tam Slam. You saw what I had to do to get that in there. That was a face stuff. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna change back to the other layout, so... Give it a second, don't freak out. We'll be back. You're taking the tea now and the energy drink? Well, you could have either way. How would you rate the box? Like overall, out of a 10. Zero to 10. Nine? Okay. <clears throat> and I mean the flavor. It's just like. Australia, Australia's had the, like one of the best boxes each time we've got it, for yeah. sure. If I have more face stuff, I don't know if I have anything. I'm stuffing my face right here. She's stuffing her face. Oh, what do we got now? What are we? <laughs> Is it gone? Oh, we're tea. <laughs> we're tea. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> It says tofu. <laughs> These are so good. <laughs> tea bag. Yeah, you were tea bagging us. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fuck you, Midcoy. <laughs> yeah, right.